let's learn about introduction and overview of the SAP Analytics Cloud. So what is SAP Analytics Cloud? So SAP Analytics Cloud is an SAP's flagship product in the overall analytics portfolio, uh, which, uh, which is a single analytics pro, uh, product, uh, which covers multiple aspects of the uh, business intelligence, planning, predictive and application building. So this is a single product which SAP has come up with and has uh, powerful features uh, which, which covers um, many of the areas and which is very um, powerful for the business uh, users. This is an overview of the product which says uh, what, what it contains about the SAP Analytics Cloud. So wh whatever you see here, SAP Analytics Cloud, uh, which is having some digital boardroom, mobile and analytics hub uh, are the components. But uh, the most important aspects are this business intelligence, planning, recording and application design. So business intelligence will cover most of the things related to the reporting side or the storytelling, which is uh, creating a stories. Then planning covers in covering, um, sharing the simulation of uh, different uh, charts we are creating. Predictive is about the forecasting automated insights. So whatever the forecasting uh, to be done uh, can be done with the predictive um, components here. And application design is for the custom applications, which, uh, which is based on the SDK extensions. And uh, this uh, analytics cloud uh, or SSC uh, is the tool which is based in the cloud and this cloud can be in on-premise or hybrid or cloud. So on-premise means uh, the cloud which is uh, hosted on uh, in the premises of whatever uh, the organization is having. Hybrid is consisting of the cloud and uh, both. Uh, cloud means it is uh, hosted by the SAP uh, cloud system. So why SAP Antics Cloud is important and what is the business uh, for SAP Antics Cloud in uh, today's world? So to, in terms of the change happening over the data, uh, you can see means uh, data-driven organizations uh, happening digital transformation, then it comes to data and intelligence at the center. So based on the data, what are the different analysis we can do, do and what are the different types of decisions can be taken at, uh, so it, it all depends upon the data so that is the first uh, point of uh, for business uh, for the sap antics cloud uh, so uh, the data growth which is happening like you you can see uh, from this uh, figure which says new data types or larger volume and new locations coming there are some experience data and operational data and that all comes to different different areas. Uh, one is analytics, then big data, IoT, AIML, blockchain. So we, as SAP Analytics Cloud, is focused on here, which is in analytics area. So it starts from the data and the information collected from different different business uh, areas. And uh, from this data and information, the insight has been taken and. Um, it provides an action and uh, lastly uh, the value value is the important uh, aspect of the uh, any of the uh, organization so what are the data we are uh, having what are the information we are creating and what are the in insight we are um, getting from the tool and then what are the actions we are suggesting uh, for the business so based on the actions taken by the business users what are the lastly what are the values they are getting so this is important uh, to understand so decision making evaluation so if you see means the uh, earlier uh, decision making how it, it 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 was happening like linear then dynamic and augmented so linear means will be historical and then it, it depends upon the static it has a top down approach and it was costly so it came uh, then later came about the dynamic which was self service it was having fast iterations but distributed so depending upon the different different areas, it was distributed based on the data it was having. Uh, then uh, now uh, the ch area uh, the focus should be on augmented analytics or uh, artificial intelligence driven. So it it happens instantaneous adjustment, and it is a continuous. So the last step here, which is given, plan, discover, analyze, predict, act, and plan. So this is very important. So based on the current data. What is the plan? What is the discovery we can do means based on the data? What are the analysis we can do? And then what are the predictions we can make for next six months or next uh, 
one year or three year or five year plan so that that's what depends upon and the actions or the act we are going to provide so that the business can plan so this is a iterative um, now in the today's world who is doing what so data engineers are tracking data data analysis uh, analyst and scientists analyzing the data decision makers receive the analysis data and take decisions and employees receive the decision and act accordingly so these are the four important um, stakeholders for the sap antics cloud uh, so who who are important to this and all these tools no no any other tools like no no tools provide all of the above features at the same time so it depends upon all this information but the center for anything is data and based on the data what is the analysis and from the analysis what is the decisions we are going to provide to the employees so for this uh, intelligent framework is one concept which is having the three component intelligent digital platform and intelligence technologies so this is very important to understand means uh, this is uh, which is uh, having all this information so what are the intelligence um, information we are having what are the digital platform or the uh, environments we are going to provide in and what are the intelligence uh, technologies which are uh, uh, there to provide the suggestions now uh, in terms of sap antics cloud uh, automating the discovery of the insights and giving us an opportunity to sap uh, leverage data science so data science is one thing so sap antics cloud is a complete tool which will have um, all the information so uh, we can have a discover analyze plan and predict in one user experience then it can uh, from data to intelligence it can take a data make some um, analysis and can provide some end-to-end -end decisions as well uh, to the business users and uh, for all decision types so it, it depends it, it for all the decision types means it may be strategic or maybe operational or tactical decisions uh, so this is a confident tool means uh, another feature is a confident means uh, uh, it can provide conversational means in natural language english language uh, users can ask questions and uh, they can get the data analysis easily in an effective way and it is automated means it is a very uh, automated uh, detect drivers per kpi and it is a predictive so in predictive uh, it can predict potential outcomes and forecast with the push of a button means it's just a simple click and we can get the next six months or five years uh, prediction as well that is uh, that is why it is a confident tool contextual means it contains all the information so based on the data it can prepare various charts various dashboards or boardrooms and can plan um, the data and can provide some insights which will provide uh, uh, means ac uh, actions to the employees or the business users and then it have the data literacy as well which will uh, increase the data literacy engagement and accountability with the common business language and uh, once we have this all uh, insight to action and data literacy it can be uh, intelligence network so whatever the data intelligence collected from different different um, areas of the world or business application that can be combined in the cloud and that that should be possible with this um, sap antics cloud so as this is a data to intelligence framework we can see means once we have this business intelligence then enterprise planning and then augmented analytics so this is one thing augmented analytics is very powerful where it it provides some uh, smart discovery search to insight smart predict are the powerful features which are provided under augmented analytics so uh, the center is data and from the data what is the intelligence we are getting so this is the main uh, concepts we should be aware about this uh, sap antics cloud why it is there and what is the um, purpose of it so that's it from this video i hope you have understood the main basic concepts of the sap antics cloud and if you have any other questions please put it in a comment section if you have, if you like my video then please like it and subscribe to my channel as well thank you